What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at the brand new heavy exotic machine gun. This is called the Air Apparent and is available as part of Guardian Games. So if you want to check out this gun and work out whether it's good or not, then this will be the video for you. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further today, guys, Let's jump into the video. As always with our breakdown videos, what is the Air Apparent? This is the first of its kind. It's an exotic heavy machine gun introduced with Guardian Games. Its main intrinsic perk is Heavy Slug Thrower. Use aim to spin this weapon up and this weapon can be fired only when fully spun up. It also has Armor of the Colossus. So while you're at full health, spinning up this weapon will protect you with an Arc Shield. Now a few stats to be aware of, although this is a heavy machine gun, it has a handling stat of 70, which is rather high, but also a couple of hidden stats. It also has aim assist of 90, so it's super forgiving when you come to fire this weapon. It also has a recoil of 75, again, which is quite high, and it also has a bounce direction, which tends to be vertical, which again, helps with the overall handling of this weapon. Now a few final things of note, it has a huge magazine. It can hold up to 500 rounds in total, including its reserves. And as well as that, it's also a 900 round per minute archetype, which means this falls in line very much alongside weapons like the 21% Delirium and those rapid fire frame machine guns. So that is the air apparent, but how do we get it? Well, it's part of the Guardian Games, which is the event currently available within Destiny 2. Now to get this, you need to complete the Class Act Triumph, and this is by obtaining seven of the other triumphs within the event itself. Now it is possible to farm this weapon across multiple characters over multiple days to get this gun early. However, the Guardian Games is a free week event, so even with just a one character, it's still very much possible to get this event. You'll just need to make sure you're completing your daily bounties and completing as many any medals as you possibly can across multiple days and eventually you should be able to get your hands on the air apparent okay then so that is the gun that is how we get it it's a bit of a grind but it's worth it if you're willing to put in the hours but let's take the time now to actually break this weapon down and really decide is this weapon good or not is it worth the grind and does it provide the best dps or overall damage inside destiny 2 so with that all being said let's get on and break it down so first things first, let's take a look at the Arc Shield. This only comes into effect if you are at full health whilst spinning up this weapon. It's really difficult to get an idea of how effective it is inside PvE. However, we're going to jump into PvP for this one and get an idea of the damage numbers and the overall effects and benefits of different types of weapons. Now, a thing to note inside PvP is that the Air Apparent will grant you 100 rounds per heavy ammo pack which is a massive amount of ammo for a heavy machine gun, and it will offer a full team wipe as a result of that. So bear that in mind when approaching things like Trials over Cyrus and any of the elimination modes. So taking a look at the shield, then if we start off with a popular kinetic weapon, the spare rations. Now, normally this will deliver between 43 and 68 in damage, 43 to the body, 68 to the head. With the arc shield in effect, your spare rations will only deliver 22 in damage and it is not possible to hit any crits although it will show as a crit it will be 22 in damage regardless of where you hit your opponent so with those stats in mind that is a 95 percent damage reduction on the spare rations so that's pretty sizable if we flick over to the suros regime now normally this provides 16 to the body 24 to the head this now only provides eight regardless of where you hit your opponent that is a hundred percent damage reduction overall on the suros regime which is actually insane so by looking at those two kinetic weapons, we can see that this arc shield has fantastic resistance against most kinetic weapons. However, things get interesting when you start applying elemental damage to the shield. Now, a perfect weapon to use in this scenario is the hard light. We can flick through absolutely every element in the game. So we're going to start off with void. Now, normally this will deliver between 16 to the body and 26 to the head in damage. However, against the arc shield, this will now only deliver 14, which is only a reduction of 14%, so much less than any of the kinetic weapons we tried. If we flick it over to solar on the hard light, this will also deliver 14 in damage, again, providing a minus 14% in your damage output. But things get really interesting when you flick to arc. So normally you'll be dealing 16 in damage, and that is still the case. You will still hit 16 against the arc shield, but you cannot hit 26, which is what you would normally get 
for a crit. So you don't get any damage reduction really with an arc element. However, the arc shield will break in the same way as it would in PvE. By breaking the shield, this would deliver 130 in damage against you. And as a result, leave you very weak indeed. So what these tests tell us is that kinetic weapons have high damage resistance, energy weapons do deliver more damage against the arc shield, but arc weapons is where it's at. So if you see someone running around with air apparent and they've got the arc shield up, reload that hard light to arc and you will shred them and if you can break that shield you'll deliver 130 damage against them. So it's something to bear in mind if you're going to run it in PvP, but it's something to bear in mind if you come up against it as well. So that's the shield, so let's take a look at how much damage this weapon can deal. How much DPS can the air apparent give out? Well the air apparent can deliver 1182 per critical shot. It's a 900 rounds per minute weapon so if we divide that by 60 that gives us 15 rounds per second. So as a result that is 17,730 damage per second that the air apparent can deliver. So if we compare that to something like the Xenophage, which is the go-to DPS weapon probably this season. So this delivers 13,607 per hit. It doesn't provide any critical damage because it has an explosive round, which also has a benefit in the sense it has no damage drop off as well. But that aside, the Xenophage is 120 rounds per minute weapon. So again, divided that by 60 is two rounds per second. So even at just two rounds per second, the Xenophage can deliver 27,214 in damage. So that is a 53% increase over the Air Apparent. That being said, those two weapons are two different archetypes. One's a 120, a one's a 900 rounds per minute weapon. If we take another 900 rounds per minute weapon if we take the 21 percent delirium for example this can provide times free kill in tally which you can stack you have overflow which means you can have a full magazine with three times kill in tally if you apply a boss spec to that as well that allows you to deliver 1142 per critical hit so at 900 rounds per minute again that's 15 rounds per second which is the same as the air apparent so as a result this can now deliver 17,000 130 which is only 3.4% less than the air apparent. So there's a little bit of food for thought there about what type of weapon you want to take depending on what activities you're running or what encounters you're approaching. With that all being said let's take a look at the overall damage numbers to see which one could deliver the most damage over prolonged periods of time. So as before, we'll start off with the Air Apparent. As we know, this delivers 1,182 in damage. If we were to fire all our ammo, including our reserves, this is an overall damage output of 591,000 exactly. Now, if we compare that to Xenophage, this can deliver 13,607 damage per hit. It has 28 rounds, including its reserves, which is a total damage output of 380,996, which is a 35.5% reduction in the overall damage output versus the air apparent. And finally, if we take a look at the 21% delirium with a three times kill and tally with a boss spec, that's 1,142 in damage, which is 389 rounds in total, including the reserves. So that's 444,238, which is 24.8% less than the apparent itself. So all in all, in terms of damage output, the Xenophage provides the highest DPS available currently for a machine gun inside Destiny 2. The Air Apparent provides the highest overall damage output for a machine gun inside Destiny 2, but the 21% Delirium is a worthy contender and most definitely makes up for the fact that it's not an exotic when compared to both of these weapons, either in DPS and overall damage. So bear that one in mind if you don't want to use an exotic in the heavy slot. So there we have it guys, that's a full breakdown of the air apparent and a real summary of the DPS and overall damage output of some of the best weapons currently available inside Destiny 2. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.